Hello everyone and welcome back to Tech Horizon. My name is Dave and today I'm going to unbox the brand new Raspberry Pi 4B+. If you don't already know, the Raspberry Pi is a small computer the size of a credit card that allows you to do all sorts of things like programming all kinds of stuff, using it as a Plex or Minecraft server as well as a less powerful desktop PC and only costs about $40. The model that I have over here is a little bit more expensive, costing around $65, but it's also a lot more powerful than the base version or previous Pi's, offering 4GB of DDR4 RAM and supporting up to two 4K monitors. It also has a new CPU, the 1.5GHz 64-bit quad-core ARM Cortex-A72. But enough with the numbers for now, let's get started. So, first of all, we're gonna go and unbox the Pi. Gonna open up the packaging real quick and open it up. So, first of all, we've got a micro HDMI to HDMI adapter. Since the Raspberry Pi has two 4K micro HDMI ports now, then we've got a 64 gigabytes micro SD card. Sadly we can't use SSDs yet with the Raspberry Pi but I guess an SD card will do it for now. This is where I'm going to load the Raspbian operating system onto and if you're interested in that go check out my previous video. Then we've got the Raspberry Pi power supply. This is the USB-C type version. It's 7.5 volts I believe. It's the EU version since I live in Germany. Let's put this aside. And even a heatsink. This is kind of funny. Didn't know Raspberry Pi has a heatsink, but that's quite nice. And last but not least, the Raspberry Pi itself. Let's open it up real quick. So as you can see this is the Raspberry Pi 4 gigabytes of RAM version. That's quite nice. Now you can actually use this Raspberry Pi as a small office computer. At least that's what Raspberry Pi says. So this is it. Such a small computer, I would say. You can see it compared to my hand and it's really pretty small. Now let's have a look at it in detail. First of all, you can see the USB-C port. This replaced the micro USB port from last year. Then the two micro HDMI 4K ports. The headphone jack. Wait, let me focus the camera real quick. Come on, focus. Then we have two USB 2.0 and two USB 3.0 ports, as well as an Ethernet port. And the pins, if you want to use Raspbian, or any other operating system to program something. But apart from this unboxing, that would be it for today. And if you want to know how to install Raspbian on your Pi, just go ahead and check out my previous video. And if you want to know how to enable and use SSH or VCC, just have a look at those videos too. Thanks for watching. I hope you enjoyed the video. If you found this video helpful, make sure to leave a like. And if you want to see straight to the point tech related videos, and tutorials like this, you're welcome to subscribe.